Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's solve the 15th top coding entry question from 48 top coding entry questions curated with code. This is uh, the problem is called valid anagram. So they will give two strings. They have given two strings. For example, string S and string T. Uh, we have to return true if let's say T is if we if we arrange these characters right. If we arrange these characters or if it has all the characters uh, to derive T has all the all the required characters to derive. To derive string s that's what it says so given two strings uh, what is anagram and I'm basically is from this string i can it has all the characters exact the characters whatever required to derive this uh, this uh, character uh, string t and vice versa so basically we have to return true if t is an anagram of s uh, or, or we have to return false that is what they are asking us so it's not like a palindrome you know you're checking the string from uh, the first character is same as last character and second uh, character is same as second last character and so on and so forth. It's this, this, this is the permutation and combination which you play with these words, the exact words. For example, uh, anagram has okay, here, okay, there are two A's, yes, there are two A's, N is 1, N is 1, G is 1, G is 1, R is 1, R is 1. So, we, using all these characters, we can derive this, char this string or characters of string C, we can derive string S. That's what uh, we have to do. So one of the simplest approach is, uh, you know, um, we can simply sort this, sort this and sort this um, by default, it will, it will be in the same sequence, right? And then we just have to check the length of it. So if the, after sorting it, are, there, are they equal? If they are equal, so obviously when you sort it, A, all the A, uh, you know, the string will be, you, you will get the same string, right? So all the A will be at one side, uh, and then B will be at one side and so on and so forth. So you will get the exact sequence. You will not have a word like anagram, but you will get the uh, A, A's will come, all the A here in this string, all the characters of A will come the first, here also it will come first, and the next character maybe let's say G will come next, and G will come next and so on and so forth. So with that, you know, you can easily say that both are equal or not. This is the simplest one. So there are other ways to have a, di a dictionary. So you can character, like each character, you can see how many times uh, you know, we can have a uh, dictionary which contains each character and its length. Here, for example, A has occurred two, three times here, N has occurred one time, um, G has occurred uh, one time, R has occurred one time, M has occurred one time. So, you compare, you create a, a dictionary for this, you create a dictionary for this, and then you iterate through each and every and then match it whether uh, how many times A has occurred here, A has occurred okay, three times, how many times A has occurred here, three times, are they matching? This is another approach. So simplest one is, uh, you know, I just use function sorted, uh, uh, which is uh, a default function sorted s. So s is the string left side. It will store, sort the string double equal to sorted. It is one of the simplest approach sorted t. If let's say your interviewer asks you to, uh, okay, let me just copy this return. That's all. So this will sort this, these elements, A, all A will go first and then next character, next character and the, it will return. Let's see. Solution, judging here, yeah, true, true for this. These two are true. All right. So let's submit. So it got accepted. Let's say if interior ask you to no, no, don't use a sorted function. They ask you to write a, a, a implement something like this using using maybe a hash map or uh, dictionary. So in Python, it's very simple. So uh, I'll just give a hint. Uh, let me know uh, your answer in 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 comment section. So what I'll do is I'll I'll create a a, a dictionary for S, uh, and then dictionary for uh, T, right? Dictionary for T. So in this dictionary, what I'll do is uh, this is these two are dictionaries. In these two dictionary, what I do is I'll, I'll iterate through the characters of S, all the characters of S, and then if for the first time A is, you know, I'll put the count for the if it is there in the dictionary. So in the dictionary, if it is there, I'll increase the count. Let's say for the first time A will be one A comma. So the values will be A comma one, A comma one for the first time. The next character N comma one. So first, I'll check whether that element is there in the dictionary. I'll iterate through each and every element. 
um, I'll check whether that element is there in this or not. So, and 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 one and this a is already there, so I'll increase this count. So and so on and so forth. Similarly, I'll do it for p, and then I'll iterate through the elements from dic uh, these two dictionaries which I created, and compare uh, with each other this this dictionary versus dictionary for each of the characters. For a, what's the count here? For a, what's the count here? So you, if you, if both are same. Then, uh, then no, you you return. If any of these fails, you return false. So implement it. Uh, it's an easy problem. So let me know uh, what's your what's your uh, let me know your uh, answer in the comment section below. All right, uh, that's all, guys. This is an easy problem. I hope you understood. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video.